In this video we're going to look at vertical square meters and what kind of takeoffs you can do with it. We're going to look at showing and hiding of labels while you do these takeoffs and a couple of tips and tricks along the way. So we're in the plaster category and I'm going to add a cost to the square meters of uh, plasterboard for walls. I'm going to hit the takeoff button here and it's going to go in and do a takeoff in square meters. Now, within the tools up the top here, um, we've got a couple of different options. So polygon, square, um, circle, or this line one, which is the one I'm particularly interested in for this video. This one commonly gets missed. And our thinking is that people look at it and go line and square meters. Those two things don't really exist together. And for that reason, they just skip it. But in reality, the line uh, in square meters has a height tied to it. So what you're actually doing is drawing a line and build exact figures out the length. It then times it by the height that you've given us, and that gives you the surface area of the wall. You can use this for a whole horde of things like plaster, uh, brick, insulation, um, literally anything vertical. So tiles, splashbacks, um, yeah, list goes on. A couple of tips here are that if you're going to, uh, let's say, do whole rooms, so we're going to do the plaster all of bedroom one and bedroom two. The trick here is that it's only a single line at a time, as you can see. Um, so if you want to keep this line going, think of it as stop, start, stop, start, which becomes a double click and then one to finish. Or again, stop, start. And you'll very quickly get used to this. The other thing you'll notice is these labels, while reasonably helpful at times, um, get quite annoying. And uh, you can use this show hide labels button up here to toggle them on and off. Uh, they definitely have a use because you can go in and change the heights or the colors of lines um, after they've been drawn. But oftentimes they just get a bit overwhelming, um, particularly if you're drawing a lot of lines close together. Another tip here is if you are going room by room and you have walls like this one that are double sided, my personal preference is to wrap one room at a time which almost accidentally double sides the walls. Uh, it means that I don't have to consider which walls are double sided or not. Uh, this is, as mentioned, my preference. We definitely have users who do separate internal and external and um, will double the line that is on an internal wall. And uh, if that works for you, absolutely go for it. Um, this is really just my preference of how I do it, where I wrap room by room and I again, accidentally double side uh, walls where I need to. Lovely, I'm gonna go accept and save. And that is how to use the vertical square meter tool.